Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending April 14th, 2022. Well, it's a long weekend. We hope everybody's going to have a great weekend and we hope the weather cooperates uh, uh, as, as, it, uh, as it's been doing uh, so far this week. Here's what's going on in the market so we've got our eye on. So right now, we kind of have a, a lackluster week. It was a sideways week. It has a lot of potential. Here's the problems. We, got, we had the, the inflation data come back in. The CPI Tuesday wasn't so, so bad, and that encourages uh, a, a bit of a market uh, uplift on Tuesday. Then, and Wednesday came in with the producer price index, and that indicated that there's still uh, some inflation left in the tube, in the in the queue, in the system, however you want to say it. Uh, so while on Tuesday there was some optimism that perhaps we had peaked uh, inflation in March, uh, the even higher number uh, for producer prices uh, indicates that uh, the supply chain issues are still being resolved, and so the prices are still higher in that queue, and it's too much. Uh, one long interview the other day uh, from the CEO of Amazon. It just point blank said it's it's too much, uh, not for the companies not to pass on in prices. So we're still going to have an, some additional uh, uptick in, in inflation as we go. Okay, so that's the inflation part of it. The rest of it is the uh, employment figures are continuing to indicate a really overheating economy. So at that point, then you have more pressure on the Fed to go ahead and and uh, give upticks in, in those 50 uh, basis point uh, rate increases uh, on the short end of the curve. So those are going to continue to happen. And, and, and what does that mean, okay, to us all? So what that means is you have uh, uh, continued inflation, you have uh, a, a hot economy that is looking to be in the later stages of the business cycle, okay, and, and, and really, and why do we say that? Because of the sector rotations, okay, so uh, let's, just, let's just flesh that out right now. For the quarter, the best rotations, even though earnings are coming in, okay, in other sectors right now, the, 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 the best performance uh, is the energy sector, followed by utilities, consumer staples, healthcare, uh, and, and, and then financial. So these are these are late cycle uh, rotations and we're not seeing anything in the rotation graph. We're not seeing anything moving into the improving uh, sector. So this is all starting to look that way. Now, now in terms of the technical indicators on the markets, uh, the issue is is that everything is hanging out in those uh, in, in those uh, range bound uh, between the moving averages and the, and the moving averages are setting up for uh, resistance right now. So um, we saw a bit of a bounce on a weekly basis. We're looking still kind of bearish here, here overall on all the major indexes, but in certain sectors, so looking at semiconductor, looking at, um, at the uh, regional banking and then the uh, transportations. Okay. Looking at those, uh, there seems to be some reason for optimism, maybe uh, taking a bounce. The problem is, is that while they're looking stronger, they have some resistance right on top of them uh, that they have to overcome. So the trap here would be uh, to see that there's reason. That there's the technicals show that there should be some, some, uh, some, some more upward movement. The trap is if they don't go ahead and bust through those resistance levels. Uh, Supported by some pretty good volume, then uh, then you got to watch out for for an immediate uh, pullback uh, out of that, and and that could be a, a problem. So once they clear uh, the 50-day, uh, assuming that they do, they're looking like they, they could. And, and once they clear that 50-day, uh, then then do they do they immediately? If there's not enough volume to support that, and we start really see some good movements uh, going forward. Do they pull back down? A lot of the analysts right now that we follow are looking for, although be it reduced uh, uh, growth in 2022, uh, still still an expanding economy, uh, but you've got these energy prices that are really banging out there, and you've got this Ukraine problem, okay, that just continues uh, not to go away. So. Uh, at some point, uh, we're going to have to replenish our stockpiles that we're sending uh, over there to help out in that because we don't want to be short on other areas. So this is all putting a lot of pressure on uh, continued uh, 
uh, manufacturing and re, re, you know, produ uh, production supply chain uh, issues in a number of different areas uh, domestically uh, for the United States. So that's kind of the layout of the land that we'll be looking for next week. This was a short trading week. Uh, but those that inflation numbers coming in, so the inflation numbers that continue uh, is going to make the Fed continue an aggressive stance, and that's how it looks like for equities right now. So, what's your solution? Well, the solution is to uh, is to uh, contact us, follow us as we're as we're going through uh, this thing and taking measures. But we have to you have to have the a core sector of your uh, portfolio protected. Uh, on the downside, so we've got several ways to do that. Okay, buffering, uh, you know, uh, plays that are that are there. We've got protective plays uh, in, in terms of your at-risk money, and then we also have barrier uh, plays. Okay, it just depends on how the design is and the time commitments on that. And then for your safe money, obviously, uh, the indexing uh, strategies that we use are protecting that. So. Uh, we're in some turbulent times right here, some choppy waters. Uh, the earnings season just started coming in for the banks, but they did well. Uh, probably the larger uh, sector uh, right now is the one that's going to prop up that industry as we move forward into 22. So next week and the week following that will be big, big indicators on where the markets go. In the meantime, you need some help, reach out to us. We like to help you, okay? Uh, and through as the weekend progresses, uh, we hope you enjoy the weather and most of, important of all, stay happy. It's the key to longevity.